that's about the interpolation for the now we shall discuss about the new topic that is a numerical integration or we say numeral integration it is totally different from the basic algebraic equations uh, we shall discuss the different methods involved to solve the numerical problems in the numeral integrations let us first of see or uh, discuss about the methods uh, and about their formulas their nature and how to apply them otherwise the mostly the working in the each method is same only difference belongs to the provided function or the provided limits of a function let us see in the topic we are discussing numerical integration first of all we discuss about trapezoidal rule trapezoidal rule for solving the numeral integration first we see the rule for the two points x0 and x1 it means two conjective points say if it is a integration in i is equal to from x0 to x1 then f of into dx is equal to h by 2 into f0 plus f1 it is a simple formula for the trapezoidal rule when we have only two points limit from conjective limits 0 x0 0 to x1 or say 1 to 2 2 to 3 minus 1 to 0 0 to 1 conjective values then its formula is h by 2 into f0 plus f1 that's we will later on discuss about this who are f0 and f1 and how we calculate them their calculation is approximately same in every method which are we going to discuss in the numerical integration it is called the simple formula and in the trapezoidal rule second formula we call it is the composite formula in composite formula what we change that integration from x0 to xn it means the integration may start from 1 and terminates at 3 1 to 3 1 to 4 1 to 5 making the different intervals according to the height of the given data here it is called composite because the limit is from x0 to x1 that is f of x with respect to x is again h by 2 into f0 plus fn plus 1 first term and the last term f0 plus fn plus 2 times f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus f4 plus so on it is a trapezoidal rule for the two point and it is for the composite when the limit variation is more than conjective values so let us discuss an example for this for the trapezoidal rule let us see if we are given that is the integration dx upon 1 plus x from 0 to 1 by trapezoidal rule 1 simple second composite by 
कॉम्पोजिट रूल विथ एन इज इक्वल टू टू एंड फोर एन इज इक्वल टू टू एंड फोर मतलब इट मीन्स बाय टेकिंग टू इंटरवल्स एंड बाय टेकिंग फोर इंटरवल्स then we see how we use these intervals that's say here function is f of x is equal to 1 upon 1 plus x for the first for the first trapezoidal rule these are we say conjective values 0 and 1 and in the first method there is no interval provided there is no interval provided then we see for n is equal to 2 for the simple we write x 0 1 and y it is a function we calculate it when x is equal to 0 then 1 upon 1 plus x is equal to 1 and when x is equal to 1 1 upon 1 plus x is equal to 1 upon 1 plus 1 1 by 2 that is equal to 0.5 here it is 1 and it is 0.5 we mark first value f0 and the last value f1 or fn we find the in formula here is h0 h by 2 into f0 plus f1 how to find the h h is equal to b minus a upon n that is equal to b 1 minus 0 n is equal to 1 that is equal to 1 that's equal to 1 by 2 into f0 1 plus 0.1 that is equal to 1.5 divided by 2 that is equal to 0.75 rather it is very simple but it always creates the confusion from where h will come here we see the values are two point values from x0 to x1 0 and 1 are the conjective limits and in the first case we see we are not provided with n like this why here it is understood the interval n stands for the interval interval will be only one this is the interval one start with zero end with one interval is one it means n is always equal to one b is the upper limit and a is the lower limit and always we find as is equal to 1 and we use this formula it is for the simple trapezoidal rule now we see for the composite rule there are we are provided with the two intervals we shall calculate the values differently for the both intervals that what is the difference it is the simplest form rather but it is the most confusing form in the every methods in numerical integration again i repeat in this case always interval number of interval is one it is never provided in the problem it will say solve the integration by using trapezoidal rule it means we have to use two points trapezoidal rule because the limits are conjective limits are conjective again now we see for the composite rule procedure is almost same that is only the difference in the writing and the working for second method first of all we see n is equal to 2 n is equal to 2 means take two intervals then we find first of all h is equal to b minus a upon n b is 1 minus 0 divided by 2 that is 1 by 2 that is equal to <coughs> 0.5 it means intervals we start with here zero start with zero with height 0.5 after zero it is 0.5 
no add 0.5 we will get 1 and 1 is the last limit and now we stop no. for y we can find it from the function say f of x it is given 1 upon 1 plus x it may be algebraical, may be trigonometrical or the logarithmic. The problem is only with the algebraics because we have to do the more calculation in the algebraic form when it is in the trigonometrical form or in the exponential form or in the logarithmic forms we can check the values directly from the scientific calculator or any system provided with us. That is f of 0 is equal to 1 plus 0 that is equal to 1 then f of 0 0.5 is equal to 1 upon 1 plus 0 0.5 that is equal to 1 upon 1.5 that's calculated 1 upon 1.5 that comes to be 0.667 we always round off the value up to decibel for place then for 1 f of 1 we see that is equal to 1 upon 1 plus 1 that is equal to 1 by 2 that is equal to 0.5 these are the values of y 1 here it is 1.5 and it is 0.5 now what we do we mark the first value of y as f0 and last value as fn. No, this value is f1. First value, first of all we mark f0, then last value we mark with fn. We are left with only one value and we say after f0 it is f1. No, the composite formula changes in this way h by 2 into f0 plus fn plus 2 times of f1 then we can substitute the values here h is 0.5 that is 0.5 divided by 2 into f0 1 plus 0.5 plus 2 times it is 0 0.6667 2 into 0 0.6667 that is equal to 0.5 divided by 2 into 1.5 plus 1.3334 and that is equal to 0.3334 1.8334 we calculate it for the decimal fourth place no it was the solution of the by the trapezoidal rule in the composite formula when n is equal to 2 now we see what is the change when it is n is equal to 4 when n is equal to 4 Naturally, the height will change. Formula is again for height. H is equal to B minus A upon N. It is 1 minus 0 divided by 4. If say N is equal to 6, 8, we take the same value. That is equal to 1 by 4. That is equal to 0 0.25. Now, what is the requirement of the problem? It wants the interval 4 and the height of 0.25 each one like this these are the values of the x we start with lower limit 0 and take the height 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.75 and 1 now see intervals are 1 <coughs> 2 3 Oh, rather we see values are 5 but we are concerned with the intervals they are the intervals 1, 2, 3 and 4 again we calculated for y that is f of 0 it is 1 
then f of 0.25, f of 0.25 is equal to 1 upon 1 plus 0.25, 1 upon 1.25, that's come to be 0.8, here f of 0, f of 0 is equal to 1, f of 2.5, 0.8 f of 0.5 we have already it 0.6667 then 0.75 we can calculate it f 0.75 is equal to 1 upon 1 plus 0.75 that is equal to 1 upon 1.75 that's 1 That's come to be 0 0.5714. It is 0 0.5714 and f of 1 it is already known that is 0 0.5. Now we start marking them first value f0, last value fn, first value f0 and last value fn. Then it is f1 it is f2 and it is f3 this value will increase according to the given value of n either n is provided or h is provided now the trapezoidal rule it changes into we say first value f0 plus last value fn separate plus two times of the remaining values f1 plus f2 plus F3. <coughs> That's equal to H is 0.25 divided by 2 F01 plus 0.5 plus 2 times of 0.6667 plus 0.8 it is f1 plus 0 0.5714 that is equal to 0 0.25 divided by 2 into 1.5 plus 0.6667 plus 0.8 plus 0.5714 that's into 2 is equal to that is 4.0762 and that's equal to 1.5 plus 4.0762 0 0.0762 into 0.25 that's equal to and divided by 2 that's equal to 1.2595 we have to find the result up to 4 decimal place. This is the approach to the trapezoidal rule. Uh, rather it is simple without any interval with conjective values or with the values of the n or with the different values of the h. That is the composite rule. The only difference what can be here thus we have studied the algebraic function that I say it can be changed with some exponential, some trigonometrical or some logarithmic function. Rather they are more simple because this calculation will be avoided because we can find those values from the scientific calculator easily.